Alright guys, this is Portrait Coins and I'm gonna grab a fresh new box of, well not that one, it's empty, down here. Grab a new box of Lincoln Cents and I'm gonna start digging in. So I'll see you guys on the first cut-in. Alright. Alright guys, we're only a few rolls in here and I'm getting some pretty pretty good coins. Uh, um, Decent amount of coppers, not too many, but the older coins, they're in pretty good condition. So far, I have a 1944, or 1940s, and a 1920. I just got a 1920 the other day, I believe it was yesterday, maybe. And I also have two S mint marks, uh, 68 and 74. So a lot of S's and older coins. And I have one Canadian, but I, don't, I think it was an 87 or something. 89. Yep, so I don't know. Oh, and also a lot of um, 1999s and 1992s. So I'm looking for the wide AM and close AM error. And there's a lot of them. Like every roll has five or six, seven, eight, ten. So a decent amount. Um, yeah, hopefully. Uh, Oh, and I got a 1969 uh, Plain Date Philadelphia that's in pretty pretty good condition. So I put it up there. Yep, so there's some pretty good coins so far, so this might be a good box. I'm, uh, I have high hopes for it. Alright, I'll see you in a few. Alright guys, another check-in. Still got a lot to go, and I'm not getting that many coppers, but I am getting some old coins. I got my oldest coin ever so far. <clears throat> um, excuse me. There's uh, the 1960s, and there's some nice ones. This right here is 1961 Denver, and 61... Any low 60s is a hard year to get in Lincoln Sense because they were so poorly made that they just all came out crappy. So there's not really too many, um, <clears throat> excuse me, that are graded very, very high. But the ones that are worth a lot of money. Um, I showed you this in the 1920. That was my lowest point ever, and that's the second 20 I got. And I got a 51, a 52 Denver. A 1945 and then a 1918 Denver. It is a little slicked out, but a 1918 Denver is the lowest one I've ever got. And that looks off center. Hold on here. Alright, so that's straight up and down. Yeah, that's definitely um not lined up. That's a misaligned die. Check this out, ready? That's as straight as it can go. That's supposed to be facing up and down. Huh. Awesome. Even better. Die alignment. Misaligned die on a 1918 Denver. Alright, cool. Uh, I'm gonna get back into it. I'll see you guys in a couple wheat pennies, unless I find something amazing like that. That's pretty rare. Awesome. All right. All right, everybody. Here is the wrap-up. I have all my 1980s right here. Um, it's a little less than normal. My 1970s. These are actually stacked pretty high, so... Still a little tiny bit less than normal, but about right. The 1960s and 59, this is actually more than normal. And if you can see, there's some really nice coins in there. There's also the crappy ones, but some pretty nice ones. And then I have my 2017 piece, and once I fill up that one box I'm working on, I'm done. I'm not collecting any more 2017 piece. They're becoming a hassle to me. Um, these are the 2009s, and there was one right here that was in really nice condition. Better than normal. And I didn't check any of these for errors. 
Um, I check these with the jewelers loop. Anything I find up here, down here, and then the weeds, and then the 1983s away. But anyway, um, here is a 1982 Denver, and it's got the wood grain, which is hard to see with this camera, but in person it's pretty prominent. You can definitely see it easily. Um, the Canadians. We got a 62, 64, 74, 83, 81, 89, 06, 06. And then a Commonwealth of the Bahamas was another 2006. For the 1970s, I have not separated these yet from large date to small date. This one looks like it's got a little cud or a dye chip inside the 9. Something going on there. But I'll check these with the jewelers for double dies or repunchment marks. So a couple of them. Not too many. Usually I get more than that. Usually I have uh, 1960s right here. I didn't find any of them. And these are the two S mint marks. They were a 68 and a pretty haggard 74. And then for the wheat. Well, I'll do this real quick. This is 1983s. And I weigh these on that scale right there. That's just a little gold and silver I have. Little set. But um, I weigh these, and if it comes out to uh, 3.1 grams, that means that accidentally a uh, copper planchet went through the mint and it was stamped in a 1983 date when they're all supposed to be zinc. And that will weigh 2.5 grams, so it's an error planchet. And, um, yeah, if you find any 1983 or a 1982 Denver small date, and it weighs 3.1 grams, it's an error, and it's worth a lot of money. So, always check them. Now, for coppers, these are not in order. These are the order that I found them in. Um, a 1940S. A 1920, which tied my lowest coin, um, my lowest Lincoln year I've ever found. And I found that, I believe it was, I want to say yesterday or the day before. But I've also found one a while back. So 1920 was the lowest. And then I have a 1951, a 1952 Denver. Uh, 45, this is in nice condition. Got a little tuning there on the back. Um... An 18 Denver, so 1918 Denver, so this was the lowest one I've ever got. It was in this box. And it is pretty slicked out. Being said, it's 100 years old, I mean, it's gonna happen. But, cool to find that. Also, I have the 1940, 1953 Denver, um, a 1955 Denver, this is also, it's not red, they're all brown, but they, they have good detail, so I was happy with that. Um, a 1951 Denver, and then my very last roll, and it was an Ender, was another 1918, and this one was a Philadelphia. So I got the 1918 Denver and Philadelphia. This one is more slicked out, but it's all right. Oh, that's what I wanted to show you guys. I showed you, um, okay, look, we'll do this comparison. Check this out. This is a, a die alignment error. So these coins are both facing north and south. And when you flip them, the reverse is supposed to be facing north and south. I, I might have flipped that a little crooked. So north and south, you flip it. Well, it might be a little off, but north and south, that's my flipping. Now this one, check this out. North and south, I flip it, and it's way off. That, you know, that's how I have to do it. I have to look at it in person and not through my camera because it's not as accurate. But still, very cool. Two 1918, one Denver, one uh, Philly. And yeah, that pretty much covers it. I'm going to go to the bank. I'm going to drop this box off. This box is full. And I'm going to go get some more boxes of pennies. And a uh, box of half dollars. So I'll be putting out uh, half dollars tomorrow. For sure. And then, you know what? I think I might get a nickel box, too, or something like that. Change it up.
Okay, I checked. It was 5280 Adventures. He uh, wrote me a message and he said, I'm your number 100 sub. Uh, congratulations. So thank you for everybody for subscribing and liking. It means a lot. Um, and I will always be putting out new content of different videos. And I went to the beach yesterday to metal detect, and it's just too hard to film without the head harness and the GoPro or whatever with a camera on your head. Trying to dig and hold your metal detector and the shovel's heavy with, you know, there's a lot to it. Plus digging and then filming, it's, you, I don't have enough arms. So I'm going to have to wait till a head harness comes in. I'm going to order it uh, actually right now that I'm thinking about it. So once that comes in, then there'll be some good video of metal detecting because you guys don't want to see what I, I mean, what I filmed was horrible. It was, it's not even worthy of putting it up. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks again for liking and sharing and subscribing and I will see you guys on the next video. Alright, this is Portrait Coins and I hope you guys have a nice day. See you later.